Eu... महिला विश्वविद्यालय खानपुर कलान सोनीपत आई वेलकम ऑल द ऑनरेबल डिग्नेट्रीज हुस ऑन वर्चुअल मोड ऑन द वैलिडिटी प्रोग्राम of two weeks refresher course in human rights legal system and societal development from the duration of 14th march 2023 to 27th march 2023 today i request our honorable dr shefali nagpal ma'am director hrdc bps mb to welcome the to welcome the guest and introduce her thank you nanda ji thank you it's a great honor for me today Uh, to have the distinguished guest during the, uh, on this uh, validatory session of this uh, two weeks online national refresher course in human right in human rights legal system and societal development uh, we have dr yashpal yadav ji who is the deputy commissioner at rohtak uh, sir it's a great pleasure for all of us and we welcome you uh, in on the virtual platform of human resource development center Phool Singh Mahila Vishwavidyalay, Sonipat. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Professor Rama Lingam Ji, who is the director HRDC at Pondicherry University, Puducherry. He is our guest of honor today, sir. It's a great pleasure to have you. We welcome you in our HRDC, Bhagat Phool Singh Mahila Vishwavidyalay, and uh, Professor Bageshwari, ma'am. who is a professor in the department of law at university of delhi as our keynote speaker today ma'am it's a great pleasure to have you we welcome you at our hrdc uh, bhagat phool singh mahila vishwavidyalay uh, i welcome the coordinator dr parmod malik ji the faculty department of law at bhagat phool singh mahila vishwavidyalay who is the coordinator of this program and has been an instrumental in in organizing and running this program in a very successful way i also welcome all the delegates all the participants those who have joined from the different parts of the country in this uh, refresher program on the behalf of the honorable vice chancellor i extend my heartiest greetings to everyone and uh, to all the faculty members to all the di distinguished guests those who have joined and uh, all the participants of this program and the faculty members those who have joined us from our university we welcome you and the head of the Mm, Seema, ma'am, I think uh, I'm not able to see, but I think uh, Dr. Seema Dhaya, the chairperson of the Department of Law. I invited her. I sent uh, this link also. She will go to join. Ji, I also welcome her and extend my heartiest greetings on the behalf of the Honorable Vice Chancellor to each and every one of you, as well as on my own personal behalf for joining this session and for joining this program. Uh, this. Uh, human resource development center is the youngest in the country which was started in the year 2009 uh, by the ugc it was incepted here by, in the youngest university of the country at that time our university was only 3 years old when this center was uh, given to this uh, university and it is the only women university in the country to be blessed with such a center and i think it is one of the a uh, center which not only brings the quality but also bring a vision to the teachers those who participate in the programs which are organized by the human resource development center in this center as well as all the centers throughout the country uh, all the hrdcs i think including ours are contributing a lot in organizing these training programs for the faculty development and for their professional as well as the personal development of them Uh, we have been um, if i share some of the things about my hrdc uh, it's a great uh, i think it's a great uh, usp of our hrdc to have more participants women participation in all the programs especially before the covid period of time we receive large the, the the proportion of the participants was more than 50% in every program who were participating as a women participation was there 
and also we have initiated lot of uh, new and uh, the future oriented programs like uh, we started with the hospitality program in our hrtc which was the first of its own kind in the country which was also recognized by the various associations secondly we introduced the free and open source softwares e content development as well as the mooc program in the year 2012 when the second program was introduced in the world itself so we have always initiated to keep such programs the innovative themes and to make the teacher and the faculty aware maybe of any area uh, with the latest developments that are happening not only in the national level but also at the international level now after this uh, national education policy 2020 has been declared and even before when the draft was released we have organized few workshops on the discussion for the draft of the nep because the suggestions were called from the teachers by the from all the stakeholders so we have organized those workshop as well now we are organizing since uh, uh, the october 2020 20 we are organizing lot of workshops on nep 2020 not only to create the awareness but how to implement that nep in their own institution and what will be the contribution of the teachers in that particularly in the different roles and also i think uh, this uh, refresher course in law legal system societal development has been one of our most acknowledged refresher course from last 10 years we are constantly organizing this program and i think on the various themes we have been introducing this concept and we always have an approach of interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary and i think we have very successfully conducted all those programs including yoga meditation lifestyle health women health and many other issues which we have taken up during our short term courses as well as in our refresher courses so it's uh, uh, i think we are also uh, concluding the 10th refresher course in the law this year so and we i also thank all the participants those who have joined here and uh, they have contributed and they have been engaged and they have been also involved during the program by asking lot of questions by making their uh, also by contributing in a better listening skills and better communication with all the resource persons i am really thankful to each and every one of you for giving their contribution in the best possible way so now again i welcome all the dignitaries and all the participants in this program once again and i am very sure that whatever all the participants have gained in this program they will go and implement all the things that they have learned in their own institution for the betterment and for their best contribution in the institution wherever they are serving in the qualitative as well as quantitative measures thank you all over to you nandita ji <laughs> thank you ma'am for uh, making us informed about the journey of this center we are very happy to be associated with this center uh, now i request dr arpita bose ma'am to submit the report of the session arpita ma'am unmute yourself uh good morning ma'am the good morning sefali ma'am from ustan and all the other dignitary guests and participants uh every day we have four sessions and durations of the sessions was one and a half hours half hours uh, professor upendra bakshi uh, delivered the inaugural lecture and set the tune of this uh, uh refresher course interdisciplinary refresher course dr mamta malik uh, on uh, mamta malik uh, from the department of law central university of haryana uh, gave lectures on rights of women in india a critical study on 14th march first day uh, on the second half of, on the post lunch session and the professor rajesh malik from the also from the department of law central university of haryana Uh, gave lectures on accountability and security of tenure in public and private employment 
On the second day, on 15th March, Professor Tarun Arora, Department of, from Department of Law, Central University of Punjab, uh, gave lectures on pandemic, human rights, and governance in the first half of the sessions. And then Dr. Pavan Kumar from the Department of Law, BPSMG, uh, delivered lecture. His topic was rule of law. Uh, in the post lunch session, Dr. Ajay Ranga from the Department of Law, Punjab University, Chandigarh, delivered lectures on RTI Act, Right to Information Act. Then Dr. Rahul Taneja, scientist, DST from Panchkula, delivered lectures on IPR. On the third day, 16th day of March, Professor Naresh Bhars, uh, RGNUL Patiala University gave lectures on two different topics. Uh, the first topic was human rights of legal systems, and the second one is shifting paradigm of artificial intelligence and legal systems. In the post lunch session of this day, Professor Arvind Vanu from Amity University, Noida, uh, gives like give, gave lectures on fundamental rights and instrumental to societal development. And then Dr. Samarjit Singh, Ramjas College, Delhi, uh, gave lectures on cybercrime and Indian legal system. On the fourth day, that is on 17 March, Professor Tarun Arora, Department of Law, Central University of Punjab, delivered lectures on sustainable development goals, text and context in reference of human rights and social transformation. And on the second uh, and uh, on that day, Dr. Shakshad Banshal from JGU Sonepat del del delivered lectures on uh, two for two session. His topic was understanding the nuisance of corporate governance framework in India. And on the last session, Dr. Ajay Ranga again from the Department of Punjab University, Chandigarh, Panchayat. On 18th March, Dr. Sanjay Singh, JGU Raipur, delivered lecture on rural transformation through CSR. And then Professor Jit Singh Man from NLU University delivered lecture on how to stimulate quality research in India. Then Dr. Muhammad Umar in the post lunch session delivered from the Department of Law, Barnett University, Noida, delivered lectures on human rights of non-humans. Very interesting topic. And the last speaker of this day was Dr. Vikash Bhatra, Department of Economics, IGU, Mirpur. Uh, his topic was MNREGA, a paradigm shift with multifaceted perspective. 19th March was Sunday, so it was off for us. On the 20th March of the 20th March, the first speaker of this day was Dr. Jaginda Saklani, H. Machal Pradesh University, Simla. His topic was human rights. Then Professor Suresh Kumar Misra, IIPA New Delhi, he delivered lecture on globalization, market, and consumer protections. And in the post lunch session of this day, Dr. S. C. Roy from CNLU Partner in Patna delivered lectures on law and social changes. On the, and the last speaker of this day was Professor Prashanshu, NLU Delhi. Topic was law, language, and literature. On the 21st March, the first speaker of this day was Dr. Madhuri Huda from the Department of Education, NDU Rota. National education policy and curriculum was her topics. And the second session, Dr. Sailendra Kumar, ISID, New Delhi. His topic was vaccine access and uh, manufacturing. Uh, in the post lunch session, Dr. Amit Kambuj from Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, NLU, Sanepad, delivered lecture on NDPS. And the last speaker of this day was Dr. Jaswan Saini, Department of Law, NDU, Rota. And his topic was role of corporate law in social transformation. On the 22nd day of March, Professor Amita Dhanda, NEL, SAR, Hyderabad, delivered lectures on two different topics in two uh, sessions. His first topic was how to ask the law question and the second topic of his lecture was how why do we need to engage with legal theory in the post lunch session of this day dr ramphan from imsar mdu wrote up uh, delivered lecture and dr bimal jit singh gndu amrit Shar, uh, delivered the lectures on the last session of this day and his topic was preamble and human rights on the 23rd March, Dr. Bijendra Singh, Department of English, IGU Mirat. His topic was human rights and social transformation through literature. The, uh, on this day, on 23rd March, we have only three sessions. 
Dr. Rajesh Huda from the Department of Laws, BPS MD, topic uh, delivered lectures and research sustainability ethics and standards was his topic. Dr. Shima Dhaya from the Department of Laws, BPS MW, delivered lectures on the legal literacy, uh, literacy special reference to women laws in India, India was the last speaker of this day. And 24th day of March, Dr. Dinesh Bhishoni, Department of Law, Punjab University, delivered lecture on corporate social responsibility. In the second sessions, we have Dr. Shunil Kumar from the Department of Sociology, Kurukhetra University. Law and social trans transformation in India was his topic. Then Dr. Dibbajati Singh, J.C. Bose University of Science and Technology, Faridabad. His topic, her topic was creative intervention for human rights. And the last speaker of this day was Dr. Bharat, the Department of Law, Punjab University, Chandigarh. His topic was promoting human rights through values under national education policy 2020. On 25th day of March, in the first session, uh, we have Dr. Uh, Rahman uh, from Jamia Milia Islamia. His topic was diaspora and human rights. Uh, in the second session, participants presented papers, uh, at least 10 participants presented papers. In the post-lunch session, Professor Vinay Kapoor, SGT University, told, uh, give lecture, gave lectures on women rights. And in, and the last speaker was Professor Pramod Bharadwaj, IGU Diwari, uh, lectures on law and transformation, some micro-level insight. On the 26th day of March, we have online exams and also on the behalf of the participants on, on the other list of the participants present their papers. And today is the last day, concluding day, and today is our valedictory session. So, ma'am, over to you, Nandita. Thank you, Dr. Apita Mosman for reading us the report of the two weeks refresher program. And now I request the participants to provide I request uh, Dr. Naseeb Ranga. So network program is here on your part. Thank you. Sir, kindly unmute yourself. Dr. Naseeb, sir, kindly unmute yourself. Thank you, sir. Very good morning to all the dignitary. On the behalf of uh, House, I, Dr. Naseeb Kumar, Assistant Professor of Psychology, Government College, Bhivan. Uh, Ma'am, I would like to thank HRDC uh, Bhagat Phool Singh Mahila Vishwavidyalaya, Kanpur Kala, to organize 15 days multidisciplinary uh, refresher course on human rights legal system. During this course, we all participants are educated to all aspects of human rights by the uh, respected resource person uh, who are intellectual on his area. Ma'am, jitna humne sikha hai is pure refresher course ke dauran, usme jitne bhi humare resource person humare paas hai, matlab hume ट्रेन करने के लिए जितने भी आए हैं उन सब ने अपने अपने एरिया में बहुत अच्छे तरीके से किसी भी एरिया को आ, मतलब इग्नोर ना करते हुए इतना बढ़िया तरीके से हमें सिखाया बताया पढ़ाया तो हम सबके लिए एक तो थैंक्स करना चाहेंगे और पूरे एचआरडीसी की तरफ से प्रमोद सर की तरफ से सेफाली मैम की तरफ से सभी रिसोर्सिस पर्सन का हम पूरे हाउस की तरफ से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर नसीम now, I request any of other participants who would like to volunteer and give their feedback. Good morning. This, this is Welcome Dr. Savita Patel. Please. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning, good morning to all dignitaries of this valedictory function. I feel privileged to be the part of two week vacation course on human rights, legal system, and society developments. Uh, th these two weeks have been very informative, educative, and really fruitful. The session helped us to enrich our knowledge on various topics like preamble and human rights, NEP 2020 uh, curriculum, corporate social responsibility and social uh, transformation, writing qualitative research papers, etc. All the topics are very relevant 
uh, which helped us to inculcate the knowledge to improve ourselves and to impart to our students also i would like to express my gratitude to all the resource persons convener dr shepali madam coordinator dr kamon malik sir and all the related faculty who played a vital role in organizing this wonderful refresher course thank you very much for uh, providing the opportunity to me to share my uh, experience thank you thank you ma'am thank you very much good morning everyone myself dr arthi ashokra dewe from bk mercantile bank law college palanpur uh, respected dignitaries especially uh, dr shafali madam and dr pramod malik sir and dear participants uh, today i would like to extend my vote of thanks uh, this rc program was uh, full of joy and informative also and uh, with this i would like to uh, uh, highlight two things uh, this rc program was self evolutionary and transformative it was self evolutionary because jab hum teacher ban jate we think that we are sarva sarva but after listening seniors and uh, uh, that much uh, experts so hame pata chal jata hai where we are and it is uh, going to be transformative as shefali madam said when when they were we will enter in the classroom there will be another personality than i was yesterday so i am also thankful to this ugc hrg thank you very much many thanks dr arthi dewi ma huh? now so we should uh, we will proceed to our next event now it's my honor and pleasure to introduce to the all the audience the guest of honor of our event professor p p ramalingam sir director hrdc pondicherry university puducherry i would honor to introduce to all the participants a brief profile of our guest of honor professor p p ramalingam sir presently is a professor in the ugc human resource development center of pondicherry university which is a higher education teacher development center established by the university grants commission to plan organize monitor and evaluate programs for teachers of colleges and universities he is having a wide and rich experience of 25 years in teaching and coordinating the orientation refresher courses and other programs related to the professional development of teachers in higher education welcome you sir he had three post graduate degrees ma in psychology ma in education and ma in political science and phil and phd research in educational counseling psychology at anamala university he had his undergraduate in mathematics psc he received diploma in pharmacy from madurai medical college and registered as a pharmacist his research in areas include school of psychology teacher education undergraduate occupational preferences decision making and mental health in educational counseling psychology career counseling integral education mental health and well being yoga and indian psychology he is regularly attending organizes and presents research papers at the annual conferences organized by indian academy of applied psychology the indian school of psychology association and the asia pacific school psychology he has organized 20 national level conferences and international seminars has authored edited more than 80 books including 30 books related to psychology and education which includes school psychology in the indian context successful mental health and well being school psychology enhancing competencies educational psychology school psychology life skills for quality life counseling perspectives recent studies in school of psychology european educational resources effective teaching skills teaching skills and techniques education and information technology psychological approaches to a teacher's education studies in applied psychology applied psychology for the world peace and prosperity psychological perspectives in education undergraduate occupational preferences dictionary of psychology 
and have co-authored many international national books and research papers. His works underwent several editions and won the prestigious Best Book Award twice in 1991 for his book Child and Cognitive Development and 1995 for his book Rule of Venkat Subya Reddy in French India Liberation Movement from the government of Tamil Nadu. Recipient of French India Liberation Writer Award, Pondicherry State Freedom Fighters Association, Best Writer Award, Professor Uma Nag Lecture Award, and Psychometric Educational Services Award, Best Paper Awards in, from International Seminar at TOCH Institute of Engineering and Technology, Kerala, Professor B. Vishwanathan Best Big Book Award, to APPPA Best Psychologist Award 2011 and Professor B. Vishwanathan Best Book Award 2015. He is the visiting faculty of Klagenfurt University, Klagenfurt, Austria, and delivered guest lectures on cross cultural psychology, school psychology in India in November 2014. He has been appointed as a degree committee chair for a student of Antioch University, McGraw, Ohio, USA under individualized liberal and professional studies to design, teach, and evaluate Indian psychology. He taught psychometric for MPhil Tourism in the Center for Tourism and Studies. With this introduction, I request our honorable guest of honor, sir, to address the participants. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Nandida Jha. Uh, yes. First, I would like to record my a sincere thanks and gratitude to Professor Shafali Nakpal, the director, UGC HRDC, BPS Magila Vishwavidyalaya, Sony Pet, Ariana, and others, those who are involved in this process of training the teachers through HRDC. I am very happy that you know the participants, those who have presented their feedback and comments shows that you know they are all very much eager to learn and he entertained this course in a you know value space. Typically, this human rights legal system and the societal development is far away from our uh, teaching community. They are all not popularly uh, learnt this, you know, concepts because this legal system, those who are involved in the uh, legal practice, they are taking care and uh, others, they are not very much keen on understanding the intricacies involved in this process. In that respect, uh, I could learned that, you know, Professor Shafali Nakpal was presented that uh, this HRDC is able to organize this program for more than 10 years consecutively. In the sense, they are very strong in infrastructure as well as for the resource persons to organize uh, such, you know, uh, wonderful programs. Uh, many of the HRDCs uh, may not, uh, you know, find it, you know, very compatible course to organize for the teachers of multiple, uh, multifaceted nature. In the sense, you know, getting teachers for this kind of courses is very difficult unless otherwise they are attuned to the legal studies and related area. I could see, you know, this strength of the participants and their active participation. You know, always with the camera mode, it shows their commitment to attend these courses. You know, uh, when two years back, when we organized these courses online, the, they used to ask for the uh, link to join and then followed by link for feedback. Uh, then they may request a certificate. You may not know whether they are, they are really contributing and participating these courses very effectively. But the feedback of the participants and narrating the session-wise report shows that, you know, how committed they are and 
kept up love for attending the course very positively and taking care of the activity very seriously in that respect the our appreciation goes to the director and their team to organize such a, a you know programs which are relevant to the current scenario you are all aware that this human rights is an you know very um, uh, for the reason thing and having you know recognition from various corners uh, to locate and discuss the human rights violations and with regard to this poverty exclusion how we are bringing into inclusion then environmental degradation vulnerability and conflicts so these are all some of the common issues of the concern throughout the globe they are discussing and yet to come to a consensus this is in the sense you know this human rights and legal system and societal development are partly a uh, taken care of the you know stakeholders and uh, not only in our uh, you know education fraternity but also the government and this legal fraternity uh, this is in a way triangularly we have to come to a consensus how best possible way we teachers can take care of these issues uh, especially at the higher levels you know, what are all the curriculums possible to introduce uh, at the higher level again for the undergraduates and postgraduates if they are coming for these kind of courses and what are all their future opportunities whether they can have the bright future say in the job market or they can excel out internationally to reach their destinations in that respect you know this course designed by the hrdc bbs uh, magla vishwa vidyalaya is definitely very useful for the teachers those who are attending here you can plan your courses based on the uh, you know nep 2020 in ten you can also have the pride of having this flexible way of designing the course so that you can involved as many as students possible instead of focusing in a particular discipline you can focus on the multidisciplinary way in that respect it is a, you know an interdisciplinary activity as far as the higher education is, is concerned i hope that you know the teachers those who are attending uh, this program may take it up very seriously what are all they have learnt during this past two weeks especially in this particular domain of human rights education and uh, legal studies they have in turn apply in their you know course planning and they can formulate a new courses so that it can attract the uh, students those who are coming for the undergraduate and the postgraduate they may feel that this course is having something novel and in turn it may catch up the young minds uh, to study well you know when we are talking about the professional courses this is a viable and most essential professional course as far as this legal studies and human rights is, is, is concerned in that respect to the teachers those who are attending this kind of courses they have to very well exhibit to their uh, universities and colleges how we can design the course to attract the uh, young students for this particular domain especially covering the features of this nep 2020 we are capable of uh, designing the courses Uh, whether it is certificate or diploma or for the undergraduate or even for the integrated stream no our university is also planning the course in such a way 
as per this you know guidelines of the um, nep 2020 up to masters they can aim and proceed if they are not able to proceed then they can drop out at any point of time and get the required you know certificate or diploma or the undergraduate whatever is eligible in that respect this course is very essential and you are all part of it this is uh, not uh, just uh, getting a certificate for your career advancement apart from this uh, you know primary requirement it is having a mandate how you are um, having the vision to societal development uh, in this way this course is very fruitful you are all very fortunate to have the hands of our professor shafali nagbal one of the most eminent director and the hrdc which is functioning very effectively in this country in that respect i congratulate all of you for giving me an opportunity to present my thought before you thank you very much thank you so very much sir it's always a pleasure listening to you and to interact and meet with you you are a wonderful person and uh, i think from the profile all the participants can take the inspiration that how much a professor is contributing in the field and uh, not only in his own field but uh, he is also bringing a lot of light to the other people he is on the panel of the various uh, you know journals as an editor and has been instrumental in starting a lot of journals in the university and at the international level as well sir we are really thankful for accepting our invitation and for your uh, kind words that you have shared here on this platform thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you many uh, many many thanks thank you so much sir for your insights and guidance uh, those who may have joined introduce again our guest of honor the professor pp ramalingam raju director Ra 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 ramalingam sir director hrdc pondicherry university pondicherry university many thank you so now it's an honor to introduce our our uh, keynote speaker of the event professor vageshwari ma'am an academy she is an academician she is a feminist activist and author with published textbooks and articles in leading law journals and newspapers professor deshwal is regularly invited for legal discussions by national television channels she is an avid researcher has done multiple projects has worked on specific projects on acid attacks for national commission for women prison reforms for nhrc and pharmacy suicides for icsr ma'am is a visiting faculty at various judicial academies and administrative training institutes and she also routinely uh, routinely associates with non governmental organizations and non profit voluntary organization for work in areas in involving gender equity diversity inclusion and animal welfare a life member of prestigious institutions such as ili isr icps she is an advisor and chancellor nominee in several universities and other academic institutions ma'am is currently working as a professor at faculty of law university of delhi ma'am i welcome you to this valedictory session of two weeks refresher program i request you to address all the participants at dignity thank you very much uh, thank you nandita for the kind introduction Uh, good morning everyone a uh, respected vice chancellor ma'am professor sudesh chikara the chief guest dr yashpal yadav the guest of honor professor ramalingam my dear friend and junior from school dr shifali my junior from college dr pramod and dear participants it is a pleasure to be here with you today I would like to congratulate the organizers 
for organizing this refresher course on human rights, legal systems, and societal development. The entire discourse of rights has gained momentum post the Industrial Revolution. Now we live in a rights-based society. We are humans, superior to all other living beings. We are rational beings, capable of understanding and articulating our feelings. So we justify our claim to rights as the basis of being born as a human being. There are certain basic rights that accrue to us from the moment we are born. Rather, since the moment a child is conceived and still in the mother's womb, these basic human rights vest in us from womb to tomb. And the justification is that we are humans so we have certain human rights. Right to a dignified humane life as differentiated from a mere animal existence. Humanity is that what sets us apart from all other living creatures. Humanity means respecting other humans, letting them be, not judging them on the basis of their skin color, nationality, their gender, their sex orientation, their religion or ethnicity. We should respect basic rights that vest in all of us by virtue of being born as humans. We are all equal. The subject of human rights, it's an evergreen subject. It is a dynamic discipline with an ever expanding expanse of related issues. New rights, they keep arising from the womb of the old. And it is imperative for the fountain of human rights to be perennially progressive for the full realization of quality human life. The profoundness, the universality of human rights, that is undisputed. So human rights are like divinity. They are a fundamental truth and they dwell universally. Human Rights Day is celebrated worldwide on the 10th of December every year to signify the adoption of UDHR, which is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was adopted by the UN General Assembly way back in 1948. And this declaration is an embodiment of the aspirations of people across the world for ensuring equality, dignity, and peaceful coexistence. So human rights, they constitute the matrix of all fundamental rights that are guaranteed to us by the Constitution of India. These are basic rights that are integral to human life to fulfill the constitutional guarantee of equality to all given under Article 14. Our legislature has taken progressive steps by enacting several legislations that are meant to protect women, to protect children, to protect minorities, vulnerable communities, differently abled people, and many more. So a human life, which is different from animal existence, which entails a right to live with dignity, is the goal. Ours is a diversified society. And inclusivity, as well as equity. Now these are an absolute must for a happy and a progressive society. Equity, diversity and inclusion, that is increasingly being touted as the mainstay of equal representation and participation in all workspaces. There's a famous African-American civil rights activist, Patricia William Williams, who explains that rights are like the magic wand of visibility and invisibility, of inclusion and exclusion, of power and no power. She says, rights are the marker of our participatoriness, our relation to others. These rights, they don't exist in abstract. They exist for humans. And so they need to be protected by national and international laws. So coming to laws, what are laws? They are a system of rules that are created and enforced through social or governmental institutions to regulate 
Human behavior. Law is a potent tool for social transformation. Law and society, they are inextricably linked. And laws, they are based on what the people want. What is our general consciousness? That is why any law that goes against the will of majority, that is bound to fail. People will not be accepting that. So sometimes we have to introduce laws to put things in order. So we might have regulatory laws. We might have procedural laws. Sometimes laws are permissive in nature. Some are prohibitive. And law is a reflection of what the society wants and sometimes what the society needs. It is indicative of the dominant ideology of state. There were times when dowry system, sati pratha, they were followed with great zeal in India because people regarded dowry, sati, these were respected. There was, these were good practices. But with time, now, these practices, they have been outlawed. They have been declared as crimes. It is said that crime is the creation of the state. Now, this doesn't mean that state creates criminals. What it means is that any act, it continues to be okay till the time it is not expressly prohibited by the state. Thus, it is the state that decides what actions are acceptable and what are unacceptable legally. And then those acts which are unacceptable, those which are prohibited, they are declared to be crimes by the state. Thereafter, if anyone does those acts which are expressly forbidden or prohibited by the state, then it is the duty of the state to punish that person. So in order to shield people from arbitrary interference, the first modern constitutions, they defined rights primarily in terms of substantive or procedural limits on the exercise of state power. So these rights, they included the rule of law, the right to fair trial, personal liberty, freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, association, religion. So these rights are now referred to as civil and political rights. These are also known as the first generation human rights. So these early constitutions were viewed as representing a limited individualist version of freedom that was blind to social and economic equalities because only civil and political rights were protected. See, it was necessary in those times because first of all, we needed to break the shackles of state power and we needed the state to accept that everybody was born as a human. So we all had certain basic rights. We were also individuals. Chahe koi raja hai ya praja. Chahe koi slave hai ya master. But we are all humans. Just because we are born in one particular class, that doesn't mean that we cease to be humans. So the first generation of human rights, it was targeted at making people visible as human beings. But then, without changes in social and economic circumstances, these civil and political rights, they offered little hope to common people whose lives were hampered by long working hours, low wages, harassment of union organizers, hazardous working conditions, susceptibility to arbitrary dismissal, cyclical or chronic unemployment, slum housing, lack of access to education, lack to health care. So since the late 19th century, and particularly in the new democratic constitutions that emerged after the world wars one and two, more emphasis has now been placed on rights that safeguard employees from their superiors. And now rights are also defined in terms of positive entitlements, like we have the right to education, we have the right to health care. So these are referred to as socioeconomic rights or the second generation rights. Uh, we also call them socioeconomic and cultural rights. Older literature referred to them as positive rights. Why? Because they favored a positive interpretation of liberty as an opportunity for thriving, as an opportunity for well-being, rather than a negative interpretation of liberty as being an only non-interference from the state. 
so these human rights for development they first developed uh, then uh, the first human rights for development as we put them they started or they appeared in the 21st in the 20th century and these rights they provide people with the ability to participate in the process of global development and they include environmental rights which is like let people make use of nature's free gifts of fresh air clean water food and natural resources so we refer to these rights as third generation human rights now our implementation is dependent on international collaboration they are also known as solidarity rights okay. now uh, in the context of globalization in the challenges uh, to face these challenges of growing inequality strengthening of international solidarity that is indispensable so human solidarity is founded on mutual respect of each other's uniqueness and a deep sense of appreciation of our common humanity that we are all individuals with intrinsic self worth we are sisters and brothers within one large human family that are inhabiting planet earth which is our home and our heritage so uh, human rights are versatile they can play a variety of roles they can be inspirational they can be operational they can be judicial okay and a uh, law has served to protect the human rights of our people but what is needed is to make the human rights discourse available at the grassroot level where people are caught up in their daily struggle for bread see it is very unfortunate when circumstances compel human beings to give up their dignity when penury compels a woman to sell her body when it compels a mother to beg when it compels a father to steal that is the most unfortunate scenario for any country and it lays bare our claims of being a welfare state we see people driven by abject poverty scavenging for food amidst fo heaps of garbage we see scantily clad poor children begging at traffic signals the homeless being driven out of their temporary shelters which are underneath flyovers or some unauthorized shanties that the civic authorities decide to demolish and that too during peak winter season in north india we fail humanity when we are unable to provide a sizable number of our people with the most basic of human rights that is food shelter and clothing so this present human rights discourse with its ostentatious ideals it needs to undergo a major transformation when we focus more on provision based activities our state has launched many schemes for rations subsidized food grains ews housing free health care but a large chunk of our population it continues to suffer because of lack of awareness lack of education and lack of accessibility to state sponsored welfare schemes additionally our society has to open up we need to discard the age old notions of caste and class prejudices it is time to demolish old stereotypes and take constructive steps towards a more inclusive society and especially in this area of globalization with increasingly porous borders we also need to be mindful of the way we treat migrants instead of simply looking at them as criminals so in order to tide over these numerous challenges to human rights realization it is imperative for the state to design its programs and formulate its policies to educate and provide healthcare services to all while providing opportunities for skill enhancement employment and self development what is required is to inculcate a human rights sensitive conscience construct and sustain an atmosphere of mutual respect unity and concern for well-being of each one of our fellow humans and the state should back it with a meticulously planned human rights movement where all transgressions upon human dignity would entail strong censure and heavy sanction so that will be all from my side thank you for a patient hearing
thank you thank you so much pageshwari ji it's always always a pleasure to have you and we really feel very proud that we have been together uh, for a large number of years in our school and you know the life is too you know the, the world is too small and after years how we met <laughs> so and i think after that it has been a constant um, phase that we have been interacting through these programs or Uh, through the new developments and uh, i'm so delighted that you always allow your expertise despite of being so very busy but you never say no to us so i'm really thankful to you for this i dare not say no to you shafali and pramod <laughs> and it's always a pleasure to interact with you thank you so much thank you kyunki ma'am ko aur kal jo ki aaye hain aur ma'am ne time diya hame special kyunki kal do din din mari jaldi pe the ma'am ki so thank you so much ma'am from your side thank thank you ma'am for your for your insight on equity equality diversity and human rights now i request dr pramod malik sir just just one minute ma'am yes sir yadav sir have you joined actually meeting was going on yadav sir ki to okay the 1145 pe join karenge to bhai one meeting was going on at that time in the meantime any other participant who would like to share their experiences their feedback they are most welcome because you have been listening all through and today is your day to say something hmm, to share about your own experiences of this program please shilpa ji do you want to say something जो मजा हम फिजिकल मोड में एक दूसरे के साथ वार्तालाप करके एक दूसरे के साथ बातचीत करके एक दूसरे के साथ समय स्पेंड करके बिताते हैं उसकी कमी हमें फील हुई है यहाँ पर बहुत सारे पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऐसे रहे हैं जिनको हम नहीं जान पाए अच्छे तरीके से सिर्फ और सिर्फ मैसेजिंग की तरह हमने क्या इन्फॉर्मेशन आगे भेजनी है क्या हमने रिसीव करनी है ज्यादातर चीजें यही तक सीमित रही है और मैं चाहता हूं कि नेक्स्ट टाइम जब भी आप डिप्रेसर कोर्स के लिए हमें मतलब इनवाइट करें तो फिजिकल मोड में अवश्य करें बिल्कुल वी ऑल्सो विश दैट दिस प्रोग्राम शुड now we shifted to the promotion uh, the offline mode but i think most of the participants they opted for the online course that was the only reason we have conducted online otherwise we were more inclined towards organizing this program in an offline mode mm. but your suggestion is very well yeah. received sir and uh, we will try to arrange as possible all the programs in the offline mode i uh, guess there are certain limitations of the online platform we thank do want to thank you ji thank you thank you for your suggestions uh, any promotion can... aapka bahut zyada cooperation raha hai pure ke pure rc ke dauran hame kahi bhi aisa feel nahi hua ki kisi prakar ki hame matlab pressurize kiya gaya ho ya kisi prakar ki koi limitations hame matlab feel hui ho bahut acche tarike se jahan bhi hame zarurat padi aap hamesha aage rahe aur iske liye aapka bhi tahe dil se dhanyawad rahega thank you thank you sir thank you so much ji so nice जी जी और कोई शेयर शेयर करना करना चाहे चाहे डॉक्टर सर गुड आफ्टरनून इतिहास का विद्यार्थी हूँ तो एक नए आइडियाज मुझे मिले हैं कि हिस्ट्री में भी हम एंशंट टाइम से लेकर जब आज तक के जो है जब हमारा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लागू हुआ उससे पहले भी हम ह्यूमन राइट्स के बारे में सोच सकते हैं या हम ह्यूमन राइट्स के बारे में रिसर्च कर सकते हैं तो जैसे मेरा पेपर रहा मैंने देखा कि अर्ली मिडिवल जो टाइम है 700 से 1200 सौ ईस्वी तक का उसमें मुझे जैसे वुमन राइट्स के बारे में पढ़ा मैंने इस दौरान तो राइट्स पे जैसे प्रॉपर्टी राइट है एजुकेशन राइट है तो वो इस समय थे तो एक नए आइडिया क्योंकि हम मोस्टली हिस्ट्री को पढ़ते हैं नए आइडिया आए हैं तो मैं इसके लिए 
आप सभी का आभारी हूँ और धन्यवाद करता हूँ इस रिफ्रेशर कोर्स में मुझे नए आइडिया मिले थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू सर समीना मैडम आप कुछ कहना चाहेंगे शीला मैम भी है कैमरा ऑन करके ज्वाइन थ्रू आउट दिस कोर्स थ्री और फोर पार्टिसिपेंट जिन्होंने काफी कोऑपरेशन किया है जिसमें सुविना मैम भी है शीला मैम भी है हमारे गुड मॉर्निंग मैम जी गुड मॉर्निंग रीना जी माई सेल्फ इज रीना मैम मेरा फर्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन कोर्स अपनी यूनिवर्सिटी से था और वो भी ऑफलाइन था तो बहुत अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस था मुझे कभी लगता ही नहीं कि रिफ्रेशर कोर्स पे है मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे मैं अपनी फैमिली मेंबर्स से ही मिल रही हूँ तो फर्स्ट टाइम आप थे और दो बार मेरा प्रमोद सर से हुआ है क्योंकि लास्ट टाइम भी मैंने रिफ्रेशर कोर्स ऑनलाइन नहीं किया था तो प्रमोद सर ही उनके कन्वीनर थे तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है प्रमोद सर इतने अच्छे अच्छे रिसोर्स पर्सन लेके आते हैं और वो मतलब ना केवल हमें मॉडर्न बल्कि हमारी जो हिस्ट्री है रिलीजन है मतलब सबसे इतने अच्छे से वो हमें कोट कर करके चीजें बताते हैं तो और मेरा तो दिल करता है मेरे कॉलेज वाले कहते हैं भाई तेरे को जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि अभी मैंने ट्वेंटी वन में किया था ये मैंने कहा नहीं 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 मैंने कहा मुझे करना है जरूरत हो या ना हो क्योंकि आपको जो नॉलेज गेन होती है आप रिफ्रेश हो जाते हो और इतने और सारे लोगों से मिलते हो तो मैंने प्रिंसिपल से स्पेशल रिक्वेस्ट करके की मुझे ऑनलाइन है सर आपको छुट्टी नहीं देनी पड़ेगी और मुझे बेनिफिट हो जाएगा तो उन्होंने कहा चल भाई कर ले दो तो मुझे हमेशा आपके ऑनलाइन में भी और ऑफलाइन में भी बहुत अच्छा लगता है और आप लोगों से मिलकर बहुत अच्छा लगता है थैंक यू मैम thank you thank you reena and uh, i think we need more teachers like you those who go beyond the minimum number of uh, certificates that are required just for the sake of their cas or the api promotion kyunki hmm? learning to a constant journey hai till the end uh, so sir hmm. thank you reena ji namaskar tata ji please boliye हाँ नमस्ते मैम बहुत बढ़िया सेशन रहा मैडम जी बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा रहा सब सब सेशन अच्छे रहे सब अच्छे लेक्चर्स हुए कि हमें हमें ऑफलाइन एक कोर्स होता था और मजा आता बाकी कुछ नहीं बाकी जितना जितना हमें चाहिए वो सब एक सेशन में इस कोर्स में मिला है थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू मैडम थैंक यू दत्ता जी हमें भी बहुत अच्छा लगता अगर ये ऑफलाइन होता तो बट नेवर द माइंड बट वी आर हैप्पी दैट यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस इन ऑनलाइन फॉर्मेट एज वेल आपके यूनिवर्सिटी के आपके कॉलेज के सब लोगों ने अच्छा कोऑपरेट किया बहुत बढ़िया सेशन रहा बहुत अच्छे अच्छे लेक्चर्स हुए बहुत कोऑपरेटिव लोग अच्छे थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो वेरी मच नमस्ते मैम जी जी नमस्कार जी जी बताइए पवन जी मैडम मैं पवन महंत महाराष्ट्र से हूँ नागपुर नागपुर यूनिवर्सिटी मैडम इसलिए आपने मलिक सर ने और आपने जो इतने मेहनत की रिफ्रेशर कोर्स के बारे में सच्ची में शब्दों में वर्णन नहीं किया जा सकता मलिक सर ने इतने अच्छे रिसोर्स पर्सन बुलाए और इतना अच्छा गाइड किया और इतना अच्छा मेरे लिए तो ये रिफ्रेशर कोर्स बहुत नॉलेजेबल और इन्फॉर्मेटिव था बहुत से पॉइंट्स रिसर्च के बारे में बहुत से पॉइंट ऐसे क्लियर हो गए कि रिसर्च कैसे करना रिसर्च uh, पेपर कैसे लिखना है जर्नल कैसे सर्च uh, करना है ये जो कुछ मेरे दिमाग में जो डाउट्स थे तो डाउट्स क्लियर किए और मैं स्पेशल थैंक्स मलिक सर को कहने चाहूंगा मलिक सर ने हर हर काम हमसे करके लिए एज ए कोऑर्डिनेटर जो होना कोऑर्डिनेटर का जो रोल है वो मलिक सर ने सही में पूरी तरह से निभाया कि रिसर्च पेपर है प्रेजेंटेशन है टेस्ट है प्रेजेंट ही है कैमेरा ऑन करने के बारे में इंस्ट्रक्शन है हर चीज मलिक सर ने इस रिफ्रेशर कोर्स के बारे में सबसे करके ली और सभी को इन्वॉल्व रखा कि ताकि कोई मतलब मैडम जो फ्रेंकली बताने का रहा तो ऑनलाइन रिफ्रेशर कोर्स कैसे होते है हमें पता भी है बट मलिक सर ने ऐसा कुछ होने नहीं दिया क्लास कंट्रोल मलिक सर ने जो क्लास कंट्रोल रखा वो सच में काबिल तारीफ है थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू मलिक सर Thank you, sir. We all are uh, colleagues. We all all are from academic background, so there is no such thing. Because we have to say to uh, each other for something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pawan ji. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Malik sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, all the participants and uh, our 
Honorable Chief Guest has joined the session. And may I uh, now invite Nandita ji, uh, Pramod Malik ji, to introduce him with all the participants. So, our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Yaspal Yadav ji, our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam Sushma ma'am, uh, Suresh ma'am, and Dr. Sefali Nagpal ma'am, and Ram Lingam sir, and Professor Vagasi ma'am, uh, keynote speaker of this program. So today we have before with us Dr. Yaspal Yadav. We have a very good profile uh, with me, and I want to share his profile with all of you. That will be a motivation factor for all of us because he is innocently uh, this given his profile that is very bona fidely and innocently given. I want to quote two or three things. Yes, sir. That's a sorry boy. So. Sir belonged to district Mahindragad of Haryana, a very small village. Dr. Yaspal is giving all credit, acknowledging his achievement to his family, from his uh, joint family to his grandmother and the humbleness from gift to his parents. So everything he is devoting to his family, to his grandparents, to his village and to the uh, surrounding area. A few people are there who don't forget their grassroots. I I go through his Facebook also because he is also going with Yasika ma'am to uh, casting his and uh, their votes. So I know for last 20 years he was uh, both madam and sir are both humble and best person. Uh, I think Ram Sita ki jodi hai sir ki. Mein, sorry to say and very best person I have met in my life. Vagish ma'am is one of them also. So. He did his middle uh, school from village school, uh, village and matriculation from neighboring village at more than two kilometer distance covering on Delhi uh, on foot. foot. So he joined Sanjay College at Delhi Monday for graduation. After that, he did his MSc in geography from Kushetra University. He joined the Punjab University as a law student in evening classes and here he started preparing for civil services exam. He also crediting his grandmother who taught uh, him uh, much in life and inspired to involve in all household activity during uh, his college. So he has also handled all agriculture related activities and actively participated as a farmer too. So he is also fond of yoga and asana along with outdoor games and always participate in school programs. I know him sir, sir is also uh, doing a sports activity. I, I think uh, or I saw him to play cricket most of the time on Sunday. He has also one team in Fridamad also because uh, sir was SDM in 2004 when I joined college with Jessica Mem in 2004. So, so his uncle is also motivating him for stage spe speaking and used to give him written material which he always used to learn and speak from stages. That's why I'm saying he sir has given uh, his profile very innocently because it, it will help us to motivate us in our life ki how one layman or one simple uh, uh, village boy come from uh, to this uh, post. So he first uh, gave him so much love and affection for the confidence to learn his things. So, so many uh, things uh, are there in this. He is also fun to, uh, fun to play with childhood friends in the playground and walking and strolling in the evening. So, although he is a deputy commissioner of the but he is innocent. He also speaking army was his first love. He wanted to join the army, and most of young person uh, in uh, that time wanted to join that particular uh, in army. And I think the main district is also contributing in army. One of the main district who is also contributing in army. So uh, this he joined the commission. Chandigarh has also. He has also he has also joined. So just I think. Am I audible? Yes, 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 Dr. Pramod. Just a It's okay. Here, uh, my network connection is lost. So, he joined civil services in 1999. Uh, before that, he has also prepared for IES and uh, this uh, qualified uh, this test also, the prelims, and could not uh, go for the interview. So, he joined civil, Haryana civil services in, in 1999 and later on he promoted to IS and got 2011 batch. He married in 2000, in 2000 yes, now he sees also additional district accessions. So, he has also has so many administrative duties, city magistrate program, GM Haryana Road was good program also. 
He has also served as a SDM at Mahem. I also met him in Mahem also in the MD Sugar King Mahem and number of administrative duties he has assigned. He is also Pramod sir, you are not audible. Your network. Uh, I think there is some network issue with uh, Dr. Parmod. Uh, and uh, we, we uh, can so start, ma'am, if it is uh, yeah. permissible. So, <laughs> yes, so we <laughs> welcome our honorable chief guest, uh, Dr. Yashpal Yadavji, uh, the deputy commissioner of Rohatak. Uh, we are sir, really uh, excited to listen to you and I think uh, the person who is into the field of administration and has been managing the entire district and looking after many other additional responsibilities and has served a lot of districts of Haryana and may maybe many other states. Mm. Uh, so it will be, I think, an encouraging session for all of us because we will be listening to the first hand experiences. Uh, which I think he has gathered in the last so many years uh, during his tenure and during his experience, uh, uh, this long period of time. Sir, we welcome you on the behalf of HRDC, on the behalf of all the participants and on my own personal behalf, we welcome you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. And uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Safali Nagpalji. Thank you, Dr. Pramod Kumarji for really very uh, kind words. and. Uh, uh, there are so many colleagues, uh, Dr. Professor Vageshwari ji and uh, all the participants. Uh, first of all, I would like to share with you all that I'm, I belong to the same community. I started my career as a lecturer in DAV College Chandigarh and later on joined Haryana Civil Services and uh, finally promoted to IAS. And uh, since 2011, I have been working as IAS officer in Haryana Kader. Uh, thank you for having me on this platform and providing an opportunity to interact with uh, the learned uh, audience. And uh, let me congratulate you uh, very first uh, for having a very, very uh, important and uh, relevant uh, subject. Uh, human rights, legal systems and societal uh, development, these are very important aspects of the society. And uh, not only as a citizen of this country, uh, but also as a government servant, I have been observing these uh, three very important aspects uh, since joining the service in 1999. And uh, during service, when I was pursuing my uh, law, LLB, then LLM, uh, I was exposed to these uh, uh, principles further. And uh, being a civil servant, uh, the development issues which I have been observing or the government scheme which I was expected to implement, I found that if the legal systems are not working perfectly, uh, neither we can uh, protect the human rights nor we can uh, do uh, the development in the society and we cannot uh, progress as a nation. So uh, being a student of law and of course a student of geography also because my, uh, my PhD is in uh, geography though I am LLM also, so I am uh, following both the streams. But basically, uh, from core of my heart, I am a geographer and my passion is uh, law. Uh, I wanted to uh, do uh, PhD in law, but I couldn't got, get the admission. So I had to opt for uh, geography. Uh, I worked in Government of India for some time and uh, um, MZ Narega is a scheme which Government of India uh, launched way back in 2007. And being private sector to Honorable Union Minister for Rural Development, I was looking after this scheme. So I uh, thought it would be a, a good choice to go for uh, research on the topic. So that topic was uh, uh, Women Employment and MG Narega Geographical Study of Haryana. That was my topic, which I recently uh, completed and got this degree. Uh, so first, I would like to uh, tell you something about the legal systems. Uh, being uh, a student of law, jurisprudence uh, is a very, very important part of law and uh, it's a legal history basically and I, I like the history, I went through this subject and the first uh, sentence which I remember when going through the jurisprudence book was, the power flows from the barrel of the gun. 
so this is the basic tenant in fact if you want to implement the law you have to be ruthless you cannot discriminate uh, on any basis and if we can provide a legal system which is not discriminatory and which is working as per the constitution of india uh, equality before law and equal protection of law and everything then we can have a better society of course and both human rights and societal development these can be easily achieved if rule of law is established in the society uh, i would like to quote a few examples also uh, during i uh, during the service uh, i i faced lot of problems i faced lot of uh, issues issues and during resolution i uh, came to know that legal systems if these are working perfectly and if the enforcement is being done as per the legal systems we can make the things uh, happen very smoothly uh, uh, main ek example aapko batana chahunga ki jab main day to day basis par bhi hum dekhte hain uh, koi bhi kanoon lagu karne ke liye pratyek vyakti tak pahunchna sambhav nahi hota hai us kanoon ko lagu example ke taur par kiya jata hai if someone is violating a law he should be punished there and then if we can make that happen law would take its own course and people will start following following it up main municipal commissioner ke taur par gurgaon mein 2018 mein kaam kar raha tha aur hamare yahan par itni littering hoti hai log kahin par bhi gaadi mein chal rahe hain sisa niche karenge utha ke fenk denge chal rahe hain kahin bhi kuch bhi khayenge kahin bhi fenk denge kanoon wahan par hai लेकिन हम उसको एनफोर्स नहीं कर रहे हैं इस वजह से लोग बड़ा आराम से सब चीजें करके अफोर्ड कर सकते हैं मैं बाय चांस यूएस में गया मेरी कजिन है वहां पर और मैंने देखा वहां बोर्ड लगा हुआ था कि अगर आप लीडर करते हैं तो आपको एक हजार डॉलर का जुर्माना लगेगा और वहां पर आप देखिए किसी रोड के ऊपर आपको कचरा नहीं मिलेगा हमारे देश के अंदर एग्जाम्पल्स है इंदौर स्वच्छ सिटी है इतने सालों से क्यों क्योंकि लोगों ने उसको इनकलकेट कर लिया है क्योंकि इनिशियली जिस व्यक्ति ने ये सोच के साथ काम करना शुरू किया कि मैं कूड़ा नहीं फेंकने दूंगा किसी को भी और अगर कोई फेंकता है तो कानून के हिसाब से पनिश करूंगा तो आज देखिए लोगों की एक हैबिट बन गई है कल्चर बन गई है तो दैट इज पावर ऑफ लॉ एंड दैट इज द पावर ऑफ द लीगल सिस्टम विच आर वर्किंग प्रॉपरली सो सेम थिंग यू आर ट्रेवलिंग ऑन ए रोड टू चंडीगढ़ यू आर नॉट पुटिंग ऑन योर सीट बेल्ट एज सुन एज यू एंटर इधर चंडीगढ़ और डेली you 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 put your seat belt, you put your your seat belt, helmet, then you start following the law. It is being uh, done everyone because they know they uh, they are systems, legal systems which are working perfectly at Chandigarh or Delhi. And once you are caught, you will not be spared. So that is how uh, legal systems are enforced. And these, if these are enforced uh, indiscriminately and brutally, then society starts respecting them also. as i started uh, with the, that quote that power flows from the barrel of a gun and i i totally believe in that uh, faridabad municipal commission ke taur par kaam karte hue humne logon se request ki ki sabhi logon ne apne gharon ke aage dukanon ke aage bahar saman phaila rakha hai humne unko ye kaha ki aap ye galat kar rahe hain public property ke upar aap baithe hue hain logon ko asuvidha hoti hai logon ko chalne ke liye jagah hai vehicles ke liye jagah hai usko aap occupy kar rahe hain andar jaiye इनिशियली लोगों ने उसको बहुत ज्यादा सुना नहीं हमने सब लोगों को बुलाया उनको मीटिंग्स uh, की उनको एक चीज समझाई कि आप अगर एक पर्टिकुलर डेट तक इकतीस दिसंबर 2021 वो डेट थी अगर उस डेट तक आप अंदर नहीं गए तो हम आकर आपके सामान को जब्त करेंगे आपने जितने दिनों तक जब से दुकान खोली हुई है उस दिन से आज तक गवर्नमेंट की जितनी प्रॉपर्टी जमीन आपने ऑक्यूपाई कर रखी है उसका रेंट हम आपसे वसूल लेंगे और आपको काम नहीं करने देंगे जब तक आप ये रेंट नहीं दे देंगे आप ये देखिए कि लोगों ने पूरे टाउन के अंदर खुद ब खुद सामान को अंदर रखा हमने सिर्फ एग्जाम्पल्स क्रिएट किए जो सबसे ज्यादा फाइनेंशियली वेल टू डू इंस्टीट्यूशन थी लोग थे काम कर रहे थे जैसे बहुत बड़े ढाबे हैं बहुत बड़ी इंडस्ट्री है उन कुछ लोगों को हमने पिनल पिनलाइज किया लोगों को एग्जाम्पल क्रिएट करने के लिए और कहा कि बाकी लोगों के साथ भी ऐसा करेंगे और विदाउट फेल करेंगे तो लोगों ने उस बात को अंडरस्टैंड किया एंड दे स्टार्ट इट विद ड्रॉइंग सो दिस इज हैपनिंग एवरी डे समेयर परिवार के अंदर भी अगर हम बात करेंगे 
आसपास के एरिया में अगर आप बात करेंगे आरडब्ल्यू के हम मेंबर होते हैं कॉलेज के अंदर हम पढ़ाते हैं इंस्टीट्यूशन में पढ़ाते हैं जब कोई सख्त एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर आता है वो पता है आपको कि वो बक्सेगा नहीं तो हम बिल्कुल टाइम पे क्लास में जाना शुरू कर देते हैं हम आ, अपने काम को बिल्कुल टाइम पे करना शुरू कर देते हैं जो प्रॉब्लम्स हम बाकी लोगों को गिनाना शुरू कर देते हैं वो भी हम थोड़ी देर के लिए भूल जाते हैं तो दो ही तरह से चीजें काम करती हैं एक मोटिवेटेड है आप में से बहुत सारे लोग मोटिवेटेड होते हैं जो सेल्फ कॉन्सेंटियस हैं और इस तरह से काम करते हैं कि मेरी जिम्मेदारी है बट कुछ लोग ऐसे होते हैं जो इस काम को फॉलो नहीं करते हैं और वो जब तक उनके ऊपर प्रेशर नहीं होता डर नहीं होता वो काम नहीं करेंगे और एक बार ऐसा एग्जाम्पल आपके सामने आ गया लोग लो, लो, लोगों के लिए एक प्रेसिडेंट क्रिएट हो जाता है और लोग फिर उसको फॉलो करना शुरू कर देते हैं कि जब ये काम करे बगैर इसका काम चल रहा है तो मैं भी आ, ऐसा कर सकता हूं और वो धीरे धीरे करके एक कैस्केडिंग इम्पैक्ट क्रिएट करता है और चीजें खराब होना शुरू हो जाती हैं तो इसलिए आ, मैं हमेशा ही मानता हूं कि जो लीगल सिस्टम्स हैं वो परफेक्ट होने ही चाहिए देश के अंदर और लीगल फ्रेमवर्क परफेक्ट है मैं ये मानता हूँ कि उसकी एनफोर्समेंट अगर हम ठीक तरीके से करते हैं तो चीजों को सुधारा जा सकता है और इसी से रिलेटेड ह्यूमन राइट्स हैं अगर हम लीगल सिस्टम हमारे ठीक काम कर रहे होंगे किसी की ह्यूमन राइट वायलेशन हो ऐसा संभव नहीं है और अगर ऐसा कहीं पर होता है तो इमीडिएटली उसकी जो रेमेडीज हैं उसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए जो लॉ है वो अपना काम करेंगे और एक एग्जाम्पल सेट करेंगे ताकि बाकी लोग ऐसा नहीं करें अगर ये दोनों चीजें साइमल्टेनियसली चलने लगती हैं तो समाज आगे बढ़ने लगता है देश आगे बढ़ने लगता है एंड डेवलपमेंट तेजी के साथ में घटता है अब मैं इंटरनेशनल uh, लेवल uh, के ऊपर भी आप देखेंगे जितने भी डेवलप कंट्री हैं या डेवलपिंग कंट्री है या अंडर डेवलप कंट्रीज हैं उसके अंदर आप बेसिक डिफरेंस अगर पाएंगे तो ये पाएंगे आपकी लॉ एन्फोर्समेंट जहां पर बेटर है जहां पर आ, कानून का राज है और बेहतर ढंग से काम कर रहा है वो देश कहीं बेहतर प्रगति कर रहे हैं कहीं बेहतर डेवलपमेंट उनके अंदर हो रहा है लेकिन जहां पर ऐसा संभव नहीं है वहां पर लोगों को दिक्कतें हो रही हैं लोग उसमें पिछड़ रहे हैं और यही शायद फर्क हमारे आ, किसी भी तीन कैटेगरी के जो देश हैं पूरे विश्व भर के अंदर उनके अंदर सिर्फ और सिर्फ यही फर्क है आ, मैं अपने देश की तरफ भी मुड़कर वापस देखता हूं आ, जितने पिछले सालों से जिस तरह के सोशल मोमेंट्स इस देश के अंदर शुरू हुए जिस तरह के आ, जो डाउन ट्रोडन थे आ, या सोसाइटी के आ, ऐसे आ, वर्ग थे जो सोसाइटी में पहले ऊपर नहीं आ पाए थे जिनको प्रॉब्लम्स थी उन सबको प्रोटेक्शन मिलने लगी है वो लोग ऊपर आने लगे हैं और अगर कोई ऐसा नहीं होने दे रहा तो उसका विरोध होता है तो देश बेहतर तरीके से आगे बढ़ रहा है और मैं ये मानता हूं कि अगर ये सिस्टम्स ठीक काम करते हैं तो सोसाइटी और बेहतर तरीके से काम कर सकती है मैं इस विषय पर इतना ही कहना चाहूंगा और आप सब लोगों को भी मैं बधाई देना चाहता हूँ कि इतने इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट के ऊपर आपने ये अटेंड किया और आप लोगों का जो मंथन आपने जो किया होगा इससे जो लर्निंग्स आपकी होंगी वो आप बाकी लोगों के साथ में जब शेयर करेंगे तो ये तक भी चीजें पहुंचेंगी और विशेष तौर पे जो टीचिंग कम्युनिटी से आते हैं वो उनके जो स्टूडेंट्स होंगे उनके साथ में जब ये शेयर करेंगे तो उनके माध्यम से चीजें समाज तक पहुंचेंगी और हम एक बेहतर समाज का निर्माण कर पाएंगे तो मैं फाइनली अपने इसको कंक्लूड करता हूं विद माय हार्टफुल थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर बीरिंग मी आउट एंड विशेष तौर पर मैं डॉक्टर सफाली और डॉक्टर प्रमोद मलिक जो पुराने जिनसे वाकिफियत है बहुत सालों से और उन्होंने खुद भी बताया कि याशिका के वो क्लीग थे उस नाते भी उनका विशेष दर्जा है एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग प्रोवाइडिंग मी दिस वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड हियरिंग यू आउट थैंक यू वेरी मच जय हिंद थैंक यू थैंक यू सो वेरी मच सर i think uh, it was the credit goes to you that despite of being so busy and you were in the public dealing it was one day you were sharing uh, despite of that you have allowed your very precious time to all of us uh, to create a kind of an awareness how these three things are interrelated and how they are dependent on each other and how it is important that we have to learn to follow the rules so that uh, these minor things that we obey i think will help us to create a discipline in our country and to create a better society for which we all are looking forward hum har ek ko keh dete hain ki ye kyun nahi karta ye kyun nahi karta shuruaat khud se kare to samaj bahut hi sundar aur behtareen ho jayega aur mujhe aisa lagta hai ki aap administrators pe thoda pressure bhi kam ho jayega kyunki aisi chhoti chhoti cheezon ke upar bhi agar aap dhyan denge to bahut bade bade issues jo hai uske upar bahut sari energy chahiye hoti hai time and all 
सो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ऑल द टीचर्स हेयर जो भी प्रतिभागी के रूप में इस कार्यक्रम में जुड़े हैं ये हमारी एक अपील समझिए कि ये एक अवेयरनेस हम अपने पार्टिसिपेंट्स के अंदर क्रिएट कर सकें अपने स्टूडेंट्स के अंदर क्रिएट कर सकें कि हमें किस तरह से इस समाज की जिस सुंदर समाज की कल्पना हम करते हैं उस समाज के अंदर हमारा अपना छोटा छोटा योगदान क्या हो सकता है इस सिस्टम को बनाए रखने के लिए तो हम फिर से सभी की ओर से सर आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद व्यक्त करते हैं कि आपने समय दिया आप आए हमारे इस कार्यक्रम में और आपने हमें बहुत सारी चीजों से अवगत भी कराया और बार बार रियलाइज और री इन्फोर्समेंट बहुत जरूरी होता है चीजों को बनाए रखने के लिए आगे चलाए रखने के लिए वो भी आपने किया हम सब लोगों का आपने आह्वान किया इसके लिए भी आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद ओवर टू यू नंदिता जी Nandita ji are you there <coughs> just i would like to thank ma'am uh, dr yashpal ji just i want to mention here uh, professor uh, sir yashpal sir has now done phd in university rohtak also from last 20 years we are also seeing his very good uh, reader aur uh, uh, padhte bhi rehte hain khelte bhi rehte hain sir maine dono cheeze dekhi hain to sir ne pehle bataya bhi apne isme discussion mein ki he has also Uh, join teaching or belong to academics also so yes i am also join the kurukshetra university at god uh, this appoint, uh, opportunity to join the academics but she join uh, this judiciary so sir i would like to thank special thanks to you for sparing your time from your very busy schedule because it's not an easy task to uh, spare time from all of us uh, for all uh, for us so your thoughts really inspire us sir for last 20 year we know you uh, you are very generous and humble and cooperative when we need your cooperation you have always help us and guide us in very positive manner sir so thank you so much for uh, sir for sparing your time for all all of us thank you so sir much. we would be looking for more such guidance from you in the future as well thank you always ma'am uh, you are always welcome thank you very much again uh, to all of you thank you thank you so much thank you ji thank you so much thank you now let us proceed towards the formal vote of thanks for this program ji yes. So now I would like to thank also our guest of honor, Professor P. P. Ramalingam, Director H R D C, Pondicherry University, for sparing his precious time and sharing his view with us. Uh, your thoughts are really inspired, us, sir, Professor P. P. Ramalingam, uh, sir. So I would also like to thank Professor Vagesh. Uh, uh, LC2 uh, University of Delhi for giving consent for keynote speaker in valedictory session from teacher to colleagues she has always source of inspiration for me uh, from MD University Law College uh, in 2004 she is always supporting and guiding all of us being a senior or being a uh, teacher so thank you so much ma'am for sparing time for all of us so i would like to thank professor upendra bakshi also he was the chief guest in the inaugural session and professor ami Dr. Dhanda, she was a source person in our uh, this uh, program. Professor Emetus from Nalsa, Professor Amita Dhanda, and Professor Upendra Bakshi, so, uh, uh, being a resource person in this journey. So I would like to thank Professor Sudesh, our honorable vice chancellor, who has always been supporting of our initiative and encourages us uh, to strive for excellence. Due to university fest, uh, fest at Paki, uh, this Panipat. Uh, panipat and uh, one international conference is going department of english she joined today due to uh, those programs so i would like to thank professor fali nagpal director at idc for giving me opportunity and giving me free and also to organize this refresher course and delivering faith in me again to organize this program thank you so much ma'am for this opportunity ma'am thank you i would like to thank dean uh, professor vijay nehra uh, dr seema daiya uh, uh, this in charge department law and all the colleagues for helping me to organize in this program i would like to thank our uh, staff at ugc hrdc and uh, uh, this punam ma'am spike is company for taking pain day and night for organizing this program at last i would like to thank all the participants without them it was not possible for us uh, to organize this program i am also thank thankful all of you and hope that you will join our program in future again so i thank you all without you this program was not possible so thank you everyone for joining this program thank you so thank you parmoji for 